want space in your wardrobe for this little lot. It's the least of our worries. What worries? Find any worries for our own standing? Maybe we should come over here then. This is strong there. It's gonna work. Yeah, maybe. We'll see. Oh, yes. <laughs> Escape from cold, it's. <laughs> I, uh, well, at least I learnt my cross for another day. Oh, you love it, really. You just like to mow. You're getting to know me too well. I'm getting to know myself a bit better from today. Yeah. Mm. You're getting another day. Uh, Hello, Sandy. Craig! Please. Please. I'm a dead man. Has the money come in yet? Not yet. But it will. Any minute. If I know Dom. If you know Dom. You don't know the first thing about him? He's rich. Correction, his father is. Although right now he's down by 18k. Look, he's not gonna drop me in it, all right? It was a mate's agreement. Then why was he in such a hurry to do a bunk? Because Daddy packed him off to the city. <sighs> Nearly caught him as well. Got here just as his plane took off. And when exactly does Daddy check his account? Friday. Today. Yeah, I know it's today. I meant what time. Hill, my office, 2.30. And don't you dare leave the country. <sighs> you what? Just a rather depressing phone call. You're Ernie. I'm Ernie. Thing is, thing is, usually means I'm skint. Can I have an advance? No, it's not that. Stuart said I should tell you. He said you'd understand. Hmm? Sounds more ominous by the minute. But I'm pregnant. <sighs> when I guess? I might rush into the loo. You looking pale as a sheet. What do you? Do I what? Understand. you mean, do I know how you could have got yourself in this mess? Don't you think I've been there? What did you do? Well, I was your age. He scarpered. My parents would have kicked me out. I had an abortion, Cathy. But you've got to decide what's right for you. No one else can do that. You won't find it, will you? <laughs> I'm afraid if it's job security you're after, you're in the wrong place. I need the work. Well, you and me both, love. But that was my ex-boyfriend, Alex, on the phone. He plans to sell the pub. So it looks like we've both been knocking on doors before too long. And shut up. So you and Dominic Laroche are the best of pals, evidently. He begged me to help him. Won't wash, Danny. I'm a little short on sympathy right now, especially as I've been hauled over the coals for this too. He promised the money would be back in the account before his dad knew anything. What, and that would have made everything all right, would it? Well, I didn't see any wrong in it. Keep it in the family and all that. What you saw, Tron, was a chance to ingratiate yourself with the Jersey Jet Set little sycophant that you are. And no doubt drop the up boast or two to that silly little girl you've been playing around with. I didn't say Don't... anything. She's irrelevant. Although it seems her brother is as dumb as she. Graham. 
And if you're about to tell me he had nothing to do with this, I won't buy it. What did you do? Bribe him. Stuck for words? Not like you. Where's that motor mouth charm now? How about... I'm sorry. <laughs> How about you're in deep trouble? Yeah. Tell me about it. Now, from the top again. This time, let's just push it that bit further. And this time... What happened? Lost the heel. That's what happened. Look. Do you remember that balloon that that face support you wanted for your birthday? <laughs> yeah, you were jiggling it up and down. I tried to crash through the window. I drove and it was going on and on above the tube's table. And you got the giggles. <laughs> Jack? Your roommate said you'd be back about now. Wondered if you'd go to the party tomorrow. All right. You've been looking after my Sandy, have you? Thanks, mate. Yeah, well, best get back. What about the party? Doesn't matter. Forget I am. Hello? Hi. How are you? Uh, I could order a large single malt, but I know it won't do the trick. Looking to drain your sorrows. No, I'm on top of the world. Why shouldn't I be? Week's time, I'm out of a job and a home. Snap. Only I've got a little longer. He hasn't fired you. Try again. He's selling the place. Oh, of all the petty, mean spirit and... Yep, I reckon it's too much hassle coming over here now he's... Um... Now he's not getting his leg over when he does. <laughs> Quite funny like that. All I make's the same thing. No only tents going cheap. How much? I don't know. How much the tents cost? No, this place. How much does he want for it? I don't know. I have a lot of noughts on the end of it, though. Well, I've got a bit put by. Stuart, we're talking about more than the contents of your piggy bank. No, seriously. When Robbie died, he left me some money. Might be enough for a dump. Right. Where'd you get the rest from, then? Jazz, he's floating on a sea of money. Shouldn't be too difficult. Great idea. Buy the place, run it yourself. Correction. I was out. Had a good day? Oh, fabulous. Tonight was my night. Me too. Stuart took me out to lunch. I took over the lead. Oh, longest applause we've ever had. Up front, on stage, all eyes on you. There's nothing like it. Not even sex. Sounds great. Oh, he's a wonderful man. Lewis. Stuart, he's a wonderful man. You haven't gone falling in love with him, have you? Why? <laughs> Silly cow, you're wasting your time. What do you mean? Your darling Stuart isn't interested in girls. As gay as they come. <laughs> She's got the daggers out for. Oh, to call the blame. Oh, yeah. Then why have I been summoned to office first thing Monday morning? Go on, answer me that. Danny, what have you done? Is Graham in trouble? No, what he's making all this fuss about. The check's been paid back. Too late to save our necks, though. Not that I'm bothered about yours. Yeah, I'm in trouble, sis. And guess which plonker plonked me in it. So how does it rate, then? Against Nigleason. Scale of one to ten. Very funny. He only went and transferred money from Mr. Roche's account to his son. More of a procedural error. 
too technical to explain. But take it from me, he's making a mountain out of a molehill. Without telling him, while well, Muggins here did the spade work. That's right, Graham. You tell the world about it, why don't you? Honey, what were you thinking of? Come off it. Don't tell me you wouldn't have been only too pleased to have helped out if he'd turned up the smile factor. So Mr. LaRoche didn't know? No, babe. And now our boss has virtually threatened him with deportation. Hmm? He might have to go home. I may be just some thick old farmer, but you don't have to spell it out. Your boyfriend's arrived. End of story. He's not my boyfriend. But he seems to think he is. It's OK. You don't have to explain. Yes, I do. Please, Jack, look at me. I didn't know he was coming. Maybe not. I didn't. What have you had? Would you have stopped him? Or would you have said, great, get yourself on the next boat? If it's a recipe for haggis, I'm your man. No. It's just something Louis said. About me? No complimentary, I'll bet. I told her that I loved you, and she said that I was stupid, that, that you weren't interested in girls. She said you were gay. Well, I do love you, wee Cathy. I knew it. I knew she was lying. Well, listen to me, pet. I do love you, though not quite in the way that you want me to. But I'll always be there for you. And that's a promise, OK? OK. Sound. I won't mind having a bash at that. You can't even swim. I can learn. A few weeks here. I'll be doing all that macho stuff, no danger. You're not staying. I'll hang around. Give you time to get used to me again. You're not listening to me, Craig. I don't want you to hang around. I'm finished. Oh. Oh, I get it. Copped off with somebody else, have you? Your spud farmer pal around his swash nigger back there. It's nobody else. It's me. I've grown up. I've more idea what's right for me now. Yeah? Like what? I don't know yet. But whatever it is, Craig, it's not you. important you couldn't tell me on the phone. It's something I want to do in person. Look, if you don't like the way I've changed the last number, it's tough. Because the punters do, and that's all that matters. Holidaymakers are easy to please. They're as critical as any other audience. Not your problem, though, is it? Now you're out of the show. Meaning what? Facts from Edward. He's just sent it from Norfolk. Bottom line is, you're fired. I don't believe you. Read it yourself. I take it you did learn to read when you took your A-level in bitchery. I've got a contract. I'll sing. Do as you please, honey bunch. But for where I'm standing, you don't look much like a winner to me. Lover boy. Told him it was over. So where's Ali Bass? Jack, I really like you, but I'm not ready to get involved with anyone again. Not yet, any rate. I've got some living to do first. You found your wings and now you want to fly. It's very poetic. <laughs> For a farmer. Mm. You're right, though. I do want to fly. But not this minute. This minute, all I want you to do is kiss me. Please, Jack.
Look, look. By the sheets. Oh dear. What's up? Mind your own business, goody two shoes. Can I hazard a guess? No. You've been playing with fire and you got your fingers burned. Are you tailing me, have you? I don't need to. I think I've got you pretty well sauced, Lulu Bell. Go on, Dr. Floyd. You want all the goodies in life and you want them now. What's wrong with that? Nothing. So long as you don't thread on everyone else in your frantic rush to the top. Because in the end, you're the one that gets hurt. No, I'm sorry, that's garbage. If I don't tread on them, they'll tread on me. Not true, and you know it. Take some time out from ambition, doll. For what? To find myself a sugar daddy, been there, done that. Well, I was thinking more of... Oh, well, friends for a start. I haven't got any. I rest my case. <laughs> well, I've lost my job. I don't know what I'm going to do next. And, and I don't give a toss. <laughs> weird or what? Not weird at all. So have I, and I don't care either. <laughs> <laughs> now, are we going to knock him dead tonight? Or are you going to embarrass me? Knock him dead. <laughs> and as you've chickened out of that kick with you, I've put in something else. If it's me doing those pirouettes, forget it. No, it's you doing those splits. The splits? <laughs> Did you manage to get hold of Dominic on the phone? Yeah. Thank you. And? He had someone with him. He said he'd call back later. Terry, you don't think that he's got another girl? There's not much I can do about it if he has, is there? How about you and all your men? Sandra Birchall and all their men, I like you. There's only one man now. Craig's gone back. Whose idea? Mine. I'm making the decisions now. I don't know where I want to go right now. <laughs> Testing, testing, one, two, three, four. Call me Scotch and you're flat on the floor. Is that okay, Phil? Sounds great. Fat as lousy. <laughs> Don't let anyone sneak in without coughing up. No, my shine, Dickers. You're insane. He's insane. We all are. That's why we're here, doll. A nerve coming here. Really? Why's that? I know you've been ringing up, making a lot of trouble for Mr. LaRoche. You've got your lines crossed, sweetheart. Me and Edward LaRoche are like that. In fact, he told me to come here and make myself at home while they're away. <sighs> Bliss. See, you've lost your inhibitions, Birchall, along with half a stone. Whilst little Miss Muffet here's put some on. Must be all that Jersey milk. No. Actually, you know the reason, don't you, Louise? I'm pregnant. We did rather suspect. Did she tell you? She'd been blabbing to everyone else. Only to Danny, Poppet. Well, it's just to alleviate one of those moments of terminal boredom one gets in his company. No, we guessed. So why didn't you say something? I was so scared you'd think I was a... a... brazen tart? They wouldn't have. Only room for one brazen tart on this island, and that's me. <laughs> right, girls? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll see what I can do after these couple, OK? Hey! Danny, try and make a point tonight. 
I'll leave it out, eh, babe? Hello? Hi. I told the girls and Ben have always been fantastic, especially you. Cathy, do you want to come and give me a hand? Let's have a quick drink. I'll get it. OK. He seems nice. Yeah, he is. How are you? You didn't call if that's what you mean. Hello. Oh, yeah. Hello. Right. Yeah. Do I gather that you've elbowed the childhood sweetheart for good then? You do. <laughs> Not so much as I stayed in my childhood. So, uh, you and Jack and I don't know. Just good friends. <laughs> as they say in all the best gossip columns. Stop fishing! <laughs> I'll tell you one thing, though. Nobody's ever going to accuse me of being a snorty deep over anyone ever again. <laughs> You know, you've changed a lot in the last few weeks, Sandra Virtual. Most of it thanks to you, Stuart Munro. Mm. I'd, uh, I'd keep an eye on your fella if I were you. The least doesn't bother me. How big is it, then? About 600 veggies. Is that big? I know absolutely nothing about farming. It's one of the biggest farms on the island. Really? And your family actually own it? Have done for four generations. Oh. Excuse me. Um, can I get you another drink or something? Lulu. Just pop it off for a second, all right? Yeah, okay. It won't be a minute. All right, all right. It just don't oh, stop right, jogging right. a bit.